Hello, my name is Kathy Black and I'm leading the Age Friendly Sarasota Initiative. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the domains of livability that you see on the website. You should know that one of the requirements of being an age friendly community includes assessing our community's assets and aspirations of residents age 50 and older on the eight domains. Outdoor spaces and buildings, transportation, housing, social participation, respect and social inclusion, civic engagement and employment, communication information, and community supports and health services. Before I describe the domains, you should also know that the age-friendly work is based on the premise of supportive, supporting active and healthy aging and full participation by everyone in community life. It is about thriving as we live our daily lives within our communities. Let me briefly illustrate why each of the domains is so important to achieving these goals. Outdoor spaces and public buildings. When you think about your everyday life, you likely visit or encounter outdoor spaces in public buildings on a regular basis, things like parks and parking lots and shopping venues. When people experiencing, experience these as safe and accessible, it encourages activities and involvement in community life. Accessibility involves removing barriers that limit opportunities for people with disabilities, including those of us who have or who will have age-related impairments that could, for example, affect our walking or ability to communicate and or otherwise allow us to not be able to participate in social activities or access organizations and businesses. In the domain of transportation, I think many of us have considered the possibility of what will happen not if, but when we can no longer drive. The condition and design of transportation related infrastructure such as signage, traffic lights, sidewalks, all affect our mobility. Access to reliable and affordable public transit and other travel options will become increasingly important for many of us when driving becomes too stressful or challenging. In the area of housing, for many of us, aging place is desirable, yet our current homes may be unable to meet our needs as we age. The availability of appropriate affordable housing with choice of styles and locations that incorporate universal design features will be essential for many of us to continue living independently in this community. Many of us may also want to consider alternative living options such as shared and communal housing that are emerging throughout the country but yet are not widely available in our community. In the domain of social participation, we know that interacting with family and friends is an important part of positive mental health and for many the reason for living. Social participation includes not just interacting with others, but also the extent to which our community makes such interaction possible. While many of us lead so active social lives, as a community, we want to be sure to enhance social participation in a wide variety of activities for people of all abilities and financial circumstances. Respect and social inclusion. We know that community attitudes that demonstrate respect of aging persons and recognize the important role that older people play in society are critical to age-friendly communities and that age-friendly communities that foster positive images of aging and intergenerational understanding to challenge negative attitudes is very important. Because we live in a culture that has stigmatized aging and we all have internalized these neg negative perceptions ourselves, we can do better demonstrating respect and inclusion for pe people throughout our community. Civic participation and employment. Civic engagement includes our involvement in aspects of community life that extend beyond our day-to-day -day activities. Things such as volunteering, becoming politically active, voting, working on committees. For some, these have been lifelong involvements and for others, our retirement years have created the time for us to become involved. Employment is also very important for many people and particularly people with low and fixed incomes or others whose savings are not meeting their current needs. The ability to remain employed or find new employment provides economic security for people as well as benefits employers who recognize the experience and commitment that older adults bring to the workplace. Civic engagement efforts, intergenerational opportunities, meaningful volunteering, and paid work benef benefits both people and the communities throughout any society. In the area of communication information, it's very important that communication be provided to people about events and services, that the information is readily accessible and in formats that are appropriate to people of all ages. 
age-friendly communities recognize the diversity of needs regarding information and provide multiple sources to connect people with the information they need to best live their lives. And finally, in the domain of community support and health services, good mental and physical health contributes to quality of life and age friendliness. We know that access to community services that purport, pr support physical and mental well-being and the availability of health promotion or awareness of services that promote and support healthy behaviors foster healthy aging and well-being throughout the lifespan. Our community-based health and social services should aim to meet the changing needs with age as well as supporting caregivers so that people can be supported throughout their lives as fully as possible. So as you can see, each of the eight domains are critically important aspects of daily life which Im impact our overall quality of life and help us age well throughout the years. The age-friendly Sarasota effort is intended to improve all of the domains so that we can age-friendly in this community. Thank you.